Hey guys, Kevin from 230 Films here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you all a quick tutorial on how to use Vlog with your GH5 and how to grade it in post. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to new item, adjustment layer. I hit okay, and then you can name it something. So for this, I'll do uh, Vlog correction layer and I'll throw that on top of the clips and I'll just drag it over all of them. So you're gonna go into Lumetri Color, um, which you can find if you click on Window, Lumetri Color is right there, so that's perfect. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to bump the contrast to 30. And I want you to add 30 to there as well, so instead of 100, I want it to be 130. So I'm gonna leave the highlights alone, I'm gonna take the shadows and I'm going to crush those. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing to blacks. And this honestly should get you 99% of the way there. This is kind of the correction layer of sorts. From this, depending on what look you're trying to go for specifically, you can, you can adjust these accordingly or you can close up the basic correction and go to creative and you can add anything like the food, like this Fuji thing. And I usually don't like using the full intensity, so I'll just bump it down to like 50. But let me play it for you guys. Now for me, I actually don't even do any of that. Um, let me let me just go ahead and delete this. Um, what I usually do is the first thing is I get my footage, I make a new adjustment layer. <clears throat> I go to Lumetri Color, and under Basic Correction, if you've purchased the Leaming LUT pack, you have the Leaming LUT 1 Panasonic GH5 Vlog V401. This is your correction LUT, and all you have to do is click that, and boom. From this point, I can throw on a nice little... I can close the basic correction up, go to creative, let's see here, the Fuji Eterna 250 Kodak. And then I'll take the intensity down to 50. And there you have. But for the most part, the image is going to look really nice. Yeah, and just for you guys out there who are struggling with vlog and you see an image like this, and this is the standard picture profile. You take a look at this, you go, the colors look great, you know, exposure is fine. Um, like, why would I ever need vlog? Like, this is perfectly fine, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, this is a perfect example. See how overexposed this guy is? This guy is completely blown out. Now, I, I was aware of this when I took the video. I just wanted to do it for dramatic effect, but there's no way I'm getting any data in this sky back. If I wanted to reduce the exposure, it wouldn't matter. Those clouds that were there, you're not gonna, they're not going to all of a sudden appear. Now, I just want you to know that this clip I shot with the same exact settings, the same aperture, ISO. The only thing I changed was the color picture profile. Um... Here's the vlog clip, and you can tell, without correction, you can see the slight details of the clouds right here. For the most part, this is really dramatic with the highlights in this specific shot. And the reason this is happening is because the Panasonic GH5, when you shoot in the, in the standard picture profile, um, it's automatically blowing out the highlights and crushing the blacks and the sh crushing the shadows for you so that when you throw your, your video onto your computer, you don't have to bother with a uh, Lumetri color. You don't have to bother with adjusting stuff. It, so it makes it easier to use, um, but you also lose this dynamic range because when I turn this off and I color correct, I mean, look at that. And as always, please give this video a like if it's helped you out. 
um, subscribe if you want to see more of these types of videos, and um, throw, throw a comment if you have any more questions, I, I'd love to answer them for you guys. Alright, have a great day.